Hi, I'm Stephanie Chumbly, Director of Social Media and Education for Chicago Title of Oregon. And today, we'll be looking at the top six mistakes I'm seeing on your Realtor.com and Zillow profiles. I'm gonna take you through why I find these to be mistakes and I'm gonna help you write a better bio. Mistake number one, you don't have a bio. There's nothing there. I have no idea what you're doing, who you are, or what you stand for. It's blank. Crickets. Please, please, please have a bio on all the platforms that you use. You're missing this opportunity if you don't have a bio. So please fill that in and tell us about you. I know that writing a bio can be hard, and I know it may take you more than 30 minutes or half a day to write. You may have to think about it over a period of time, but please do me a favor. Do everybody a favor and write your bio. Mistake number two, leading with where you were born and raised. Why are you leading with something that happened 20, 30, 40 something years ago? How does that set you apart from all the other realtors out there? There's no need to lead with where you were born and raised. I always see this when I'm looking at a realtor's profile. Seems like most of y'all say, born and raised in Portland, Oregon. And that's fine, but all y'all seem to be born and raised in Portland, Oregon, so that doesn't set you apart from other people. What you need to do is save that for later. Instead, tell me more about what sets you apart. What are your superpowers? Why should I pick you if I'm considering you or three other realtors that I've been referred to? Number three, trying to use links where the program does not support hyperlinks. Realtor.com doesn't seem to support hyperlinks in your paragraph. So when you're writing an about me, don't try to put links there. There's a special place in the dashboard for you to include your website. And I see a lot of profiles that will try to put in a link to somewhere. And unfortunately, it doesn't hyperlink that text. So, and I'm not going to copy and paste that somewhere. I'm going to actually click the link that says, this is the realtor's website. So there's a designated area for you to input the link to your site. Please use that instead of putting it in your about me. Mistake number four, your bio is just too long. I'm sorry, but if I don't know you yet, I'm not in rapport with you, and I don't wanna read 17 paragraphs about you. Unless you're super interesting, like a movie star or a musician, I'm not going to read more than two or three paragraphs about you, and I think I speak for most of your sellers and buyers as well. I know we're complex people, and it's hard to summarize who we are in just a few paragraphs. Wield it down to just two or three paragraphs, because people don't know you well enough to continue reading all about you, and you don't want to lose them. Make sure that you're concise, and you tell them what they need to know in two or three paragraphs. Number five, mentioning how long you've been in the real estate business. You don't need to do this in your About Me paragraphs. There's a dashboard at Realtor.com and Zillow for you as the agent to input more about yourself. And there are sections for you to input things such as when you were licensed. So you can input the exact date you were licensed or the month and year. And then on your profile, it will show the number of years of experience you have and it will update for you automatically. That way, it won't be out of sync. So many times I can see that Realtor.com says this agent has 16 years of experience, but the agent hasn't gone back each year to up that and it still shows that they have 10 years of experience. And number six, writing your bio in the third person. One of the things I notice is that so many agents write their bio in the third person. And I'm gonna tell you, sometimes it makes sense for us to write our bio in the third person, such as when you're a guest speaker on a podcast, you're speaking as a keynote speaker, or you're a panelist at a real estate conference, or if you've published a book and I'm reading about the author, or perhaps you're a guest blogger, or it's an obituary. Those are times where it makes sense for your bio to be in the third person because somebody else is talking about you. 
Either the company who has brought you on as a panelist or keynote speaker is introducing you, or the owner of the blog or podcast is talking about their guest, which is you. That's when it makes sense to be in the third person. But it makes sense to be in the first person when it's your website, your real estate profile on Realtor.com, Zillow, or LinkedIn, or your Instagram page, or your, you know, you, you get it, right? Facebook as well. It's important to know when it makes sense to be in the first person or third person. So make sure that you take a look at all of your profiles and have you written it in the first or third, you might have some updating to do. So now that you know what the six most common mistakes are with your real estate bio and you know how to fix those, I'm gonna leave you with just a few more things. Make sure that your bio begins with your superpower or your unique value proposition. Some people call it a unique selling proposition. And there's an acronym for those. It's USP or UVP. Your UVP is what is unique about you and why a buyer or seller should care about that. And then show us your personality. Don't just be all like in a suit on your business profiles. We want to connect with you on a human to human level. So if you're really into cats and paper crafts and Depeche Mode, you're probably me. <laughs> but uh, I want to relate to you and I want to see more about you and appreciate you as a person. Then we'll have way more things to talk about than real estate and it will make working with you so much more fun. So please don't be afraid to show us your personality. And remember to end with a call to action. What do you want people to do after they've read about you? Do you have a free download? Do you have an offer for them on your website? What are the next steps that you would like them to take? Think about that and create a better bio that's written in the first person that leads with your superpower, talks about your passion for real estate and what makes you unique, and show your personality and end with a call to action. So if you're in the Portland metro area and you need help crafting a better bio, or if you would like somebody to assess your Realtor.com or Zillow profile to see what is it that you could do to enhance your profile, please reach out to me or reach out to one of your Chicago title sales executives. I work with all of our sales executives in the Portland metro region and they can assist you or they can call me and we can do an appointment with you together. We just want to make sure that you've got a better bio out there so that you can greet more clients and connect with more people and do more transactions. Thank you so much for watching this video and if this has helped you in any way, please let me know. Thank you for watching. See you next time. I forgot what I was going to say here. Uh, 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 uh.